Today we're going to be reviewing part number 39523. This is the Pro Series Power Track electronic brake controller for trailers with one to two axles. This is a time delayed brake controller. It's going to activate the electric trailer brakes. A signal is going to be sent to the trailer brakes when the tow vehicle brakes are activated or when the manual override is activated. Uh, it's also going to feature the adjustable output control that's going to let you determine the amount of braking force. All you got to do is use that thumb wheel there to decrease it or to increase it. So you'll want to set it to a maximum when you travel through hilly terrain with your fully loaded trailer and then you can back off the power output when you tow a lightweight trailer. Uh, the little circle down here is going to be the LED indicator on the front of the unit. It's going to show green uh, which is going to indicate the, the brakes are connected and then the color is going to change to orange and then to red as the power output increases which we'll show you that here in a few moments. It's got the built-in manual override. The power track can be used with trailers that have up to two axles, which would be four brake assemblies total. The mounting bracket and the hardware are all included. Uh, there's no need to mount this level. You can actually swivel it a little bit inside of the bracket. Additional pigtail harnesses are going to be sold separately or plug-in vehicle specific brake controller adapters. Those are going to be sold separately as well that can be used for certain applications to further reduce installation time. To go over the dimensions of the actual brake controller, it's going to give us a width of right at three inches and then an overall length of five inches and it's going to stand about an inch and a quarter in height. The power track is going to apply your trailer's brakes when the brake pedal in your tow vehicle is engaged. Uh, those brakes will be activated with intensity which would be set by you using that thumb dial. The output again is adjustable to suit your preference as well as road conditions, type of trailer and whatever kind of load that you're carrying. You can also apply the brakes manually, again, with that integrated override system. Please note that for vehicles without brake control wiring adapters, a 20 amp circuit breaker uh, is going to be required. You can find that here at eTrailer.com with part number 9506P that is going to be sold separately. And then you can also check out eTrailer.com's exclusive seven and four way brake control installation kit, part number ETBC7. That's going to include all the parts that are necessary to install the Powertrack brake controller. We're going to go ahead and hook it up to our uh, power source. That way you can get an idea of the indicators and the LED that I was telling you about. So once we have that connected, go and turn it on. So the LED indicator is going to lighten up and that's going to show a green indicator signifying that we are uh, connected correctly to our application, which would be to our trailer. And in this case, it's our external power source. And then you can see here that we have the output level to control the intensity in which our brakes are applied. And then it's also going to feature the manual override. So as I slide that over, the light is going to change color. So it's going to go from a green to an orange to a red. And then backing off and letting go, it's going to go back to that green indicator that's going to signify that everything is connected correctly. So more than likely, you're going to have it installed under your dash in this position here. It's got a nice flat surface so that way it can be angled to accommodate a lot of different situations or applications. The mounting bracket is going to go over this portion here and the mounting bracket has this little slot here that's kind of a little C channel shape. That's going to allow it to pivot so you are going to be able to change the angle to best suit your application. So it's got the bracket, it's got all the screws needed. All you got to do is screw it into the surface that you want and then attach it to the brake controller and it's going to be fully set and ready for use. That's going to do it for today's review of part number 39523. This is the Pro Series Powertrek electronic brake controller.